it's a whole different world. I think because the movies are, are real different, um, road trip and, uh, and evolution. But I think, I remember the first day I walked on the set and it just felt big. It just, uh, the more amount of people, um, uh, just the, the kind of feeling of professionalism, of, of the experience that I'm working with. You know, I look to my right, I got Dave Duchovny, and to my left I got uh, Julianne Moore and Orlando Jones, Ivan Reitman, and everybody involved. So it's very different, and like I, it's more of a challenge because a lot of times um, you're reacting to things that are not there. And, uh, um, and so it's, you know, because of all the special effects. So it's, it's a lot of fun. But that's good for sound. <laughs> we're, we're watching you guys on the set today, and you guys are like cutting up, like it's like, who cares, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of the same feeling as road trip, right? It is very much, yeah, because we all are having such a great time. We know how lucky we are to have this job, and um, you know, Ivan Reitman was, uh, and he produced Road Trip, and um, so he likes to have fun, and he really knows comedy, and he's just kind of the king of comedy. So I think what's really important is for us to have. A great time doing it, and that that'll come across on screen. How would you describe the movie? Is it a comedy? Is it more sci-fi blockbuster? How would you describe it's it? It's different. I mean, like it's uh, it's very funny, but it also has. I mean, I saw some scenes put together, and it's very dark too. So it's got a really great feel to it. But um, you know, it's just got a lot of the, the elements of all the movies that I really enjoy. I mean, uh, there's aliens, and you know, we got you know, I, I, we all have uh, with between David, Julianne, and Orlando, and I such different sense of humor. So put together it's really great okay now were you you're wearing this fireman uniform did you have to go like to a fireman training because you're playing fireman in the movie <laughs> yeah. right, right well I play a guy who wants to be a fireman it's like my passion but I'm not the most coordinated guy in the world and uh, I'm not That's the most real, right? yes yes and I'm not the most uh, intellectual kid ever so uh, but the the whole thing about this movie is that I keep failing this test and so I have to work at this crappy job at a country club and um, this guy who always gives me crap at this job, um, he uh, gets eaten by an alien. So I take the alien to David and Orlando, and from that point on, I get to join forces with them. And it's like my one purpose ever. Like, it's the one time I've ever been able to do anything important. So it's pretty funny. Uh, can I talk a little bit about working with Iron Reitman as a director? How does it work? He's great. I mean, he's really, he knows what he wants, and he's really, he's smart about everything, and uh, he's open to suggestions. It's, it's so much fun. It's just, uh, but the nice thing is he's he just so smart and he takes a scene that's written and he just builds it and builds it and adds colors to it so by the time we're finally ready to move on it's just become this really amazing colorful scene so I mean uh, I'm so grateful to him because um, you know Road Trip was such an amazing opportunity and, and this is just uh, an ultimate dream come true so it's amazing. Reading the script and being in the film has it changed your opinion about aliens or are they out there <laughs> and are they that funny? Or I, 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 you know, it's, I mean, X-Files is my favorite show, so, I mean, working with David has been unbelievable, but uh, it's such a light and also somewhat dark movie, too, but I, I think it's funny, I mean, I remember driving home one day, and uh, I was looking up at the sky, and I saw these three different lights, and I don't know if it's because of this movie, I'm like, I think those are aliens, and then I realize I'm, I'm in the car by myself, I'm like, great, nobody heard me say that, okay, I'm safe, but <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I believe in aliens. What's, it, what's your character's connection to Julianne Moore's character? Well, basically, it's nice because I have this separate storyline, just like this kid who's trying to do his own thing. And um, in the beginning of the movie, this meteor crashes into New Mexico, and these tiny alien organisms evolve from it. And basically, uh, that's how I first get introduced to um, David and Orlando, because they're geologists, and these, these professors. So when that whole thing happens and this alien attacks this guy I work with, I know where to bring it. So from that point on, I join with these guys, and then Julianne uh, works for the government, and her and David have a little thing together, and so the four of us kind of group up together. So you're reading the script, and you're hoping it's your character and Julianne, but it doesn't happen that way, right? I know. Well, I asked Ivan, I said, you know, I think this would be really great for the movie if they have this makeout scene with my character and Julianne, just because I think that I had no reason behind it, but I just wanted to do it, and he just kind of laughed, so it never really worked. They say Ivan it used to be. Ivan used to be got one of the ten top people in the country. That, I mean, Hollywood that you don't want to work with. Oh, really? He has a temper. Have uh, you seen that temper at all in this film? Not at all. Like he, I worked with him on Road Trip, and he came to set. And the thing is, is like he's really confident, and like he knows what he wants. And he's just, uh, for me as an actor, especially with comedy, you have to really feel comfortable taking a risk, and um, knowing that he knows what he wants, and he's not going to move on until he's got it. 
it's just a real comfort for me. And uh, in this movie, I think he's kind of going back to what he loves. I mean, with Ghostbusters and all the other movies before, like, he's just really, it feels like he's a kid again. He's had probably more fun doing this than anything, so. I think we've been one of the lucky ones, if that's the case. <laughs> Is it a little bit like Ghostbuster? It's got a bit of a vibe like that. I think just um, to mix, you know, serious kind of darker elements like aliens or ghosts um, with comedy and, and uh, having fun. So, in a sense, it's similar to that. The poster is, have a nice, nice end of the world. What does right. that mean? Have a nice end of the world because these aliens are evolving so fast. And, and the thing about this movie is they're going to have such special effects that you've never seen anything like it before. So you got all these aliens that are just evolving into these amazing creatures and they're threatening to rapidly take over the world. So I think, I think that's what they're trying to stress with that. <laughs> Last question? Yes? More questions? Last question. Um, there's a whole pack of young actors about your age, young fe uh, male and female leads, that are kind of, and there's so many movies in Hollywood and there's so many actors, but there's a few actors that are kind of breaking out and you're one of those actors. Do you feel that? I, you know, I just feel really lucky. Like now, I mean, with America Pie, it was such a dream come true. And I, I felt like with that opportunity, I, I didn't want to fail. I felt I had a responsibility. and. Um, but I knew how lucky I was, so I think having that, that um, I can't think of the word. I guess just having that mentality has been a good thing. And, and I, I think that um, you know, with Road Trip and Dude, in My Car, I was like, I, I really wanted to have fun, I, and I wanted to do different things. But with this, I really feel lucky. So I, I mean, I look at like the other actors my age, and I think it's so neat that there's all these kids that are just getting great opportunities. And I think it all started with studios realizing that the core audience was young kids so they were able to make these younger orientated movies but to see kids that I've worked with just kind of going off doing other things is pretty amazing so I think for me I just want to keep doing different things like I've, I've come to the point where I want to do this for the rest of my life it's not so much a thing that I want to just kind of accomplish and move on I really enjoy what I'm doing so I, I think knowing how lucky I am is, is a good factor so thank you for saying that